Hi, I'm Slavic with iDrinkCoffee.com. Today I'm going to be answering a question that we frequently get asked, and that's what is the difference between the boiler types in semi-automatic machines? I'm going to cover the four main boiler configurations, and that starts with a thermoblock machine, then we have single boiler dual purpose, heat exchanger, and finally a dual boiler machine. I'm going to talk about how to use each one and what the pros and cons of each setup are. I'm going to start with thermoblocks. And the reason for that is because thermoblocks are generally thought of as being in introductory level machines. In times past, you would find thermoblocks in all inexpensive machines, things like uh, introductory level DeLonghi's, Breville, things like that. And in the past, thermoblocks had a bad reputation for having a poor temperature stability, a poor steaming ability, and they generally were not regarded very highly. Although a lot of that has changed in recent years with advances from companies like Escasso and also from Breville, thermoblocks have gotten to be much more temperature stable than they were in the past. The way a thermoblock works is, and here's one for me to show you, is the water passes through a system, and this is a high powered heating element, so it passes through a system of tubes inside here, it comes in from here, and then it comes out here, and as it passes through, it heats up to your desired temperature. Modern thermoblock machines like this one right here, the Escasso uh, uh, Dream with PID, it even has a PID setting so you can set your temperature exactly and in test the stability is remarkable. Another major benefit of thermoblock machines, especially one like the Escasso, is although the outside of this is, is aluminum, we can see clearly that it's aluminum, the inside is all stainless steel and it's very resistant to scale. Uh, these tend not to scale up as much as traditional boiler systems. With regards to steaming with the thermoblock machine, you can only do one function at a time. That means you either draw espresso or make steam at the same time. To do two functions, you need a machine with two thermoblocks because of course they're at different temperatures. Although modern thermoblocks, the heat up time is extraordinarily fast. The new Breville Barista Pro heats up within a couple of seconds. The next type of boiler system that I'm going to discuss is single boiler dual purpose. And this is the type of machine that's probably most common and has been most common over the last, you know, 20 plus years in the home espresso market. Machines like the Gadget Classic, the Ranchilio Silvia, amongst many, many others, use a single boiler dual purpose. This is a boiler from an Escasso machine, an older Escasso Uno, because modern ones don't use this anymore, they use thermoblocks. And Basically what, what, how this works is this is the boiler which is filled with water. There's a heating element inside here and this is filled up with water. The water is brought to a certain temperature and then that's how you make coffee. Most single boiler dual purpose machines are controlled using a, I'm just going to set this down, they're controlled using a mechanical thermostat. A mechanical thermostat uh, basically has a top limit so once the water in the boiler reaches that temperature, it turns the heating element off, and then when it falls below a certain threshold, it turns it back on. Inherently, single boiler dual purpose machines have quite a bit of variance in temperature. So what people will do, or what companies will do, is they'll add PIDs to this to make that variance smaller. A PID is a digital thermostat that helps you achieve a certain temperature inside your boiler. I believe that single boiler dual purpose uh, setups are on their way out. I think a lot of these machines in the near future are going to be replaced with thermoblock systems because they're faster and they've gotten much better, like I mentioned before. For steaming with a single boiler machine, uh, of course you can't steam and make espresso at the same time. Normally what you have to do is flip a switch like on the Ranchilio Silvia here and this bypasses one thermostat and moves to another. So it allows the water inside the boiler to go higher, to go to about 120 degrees and boil. You would then steam your milk and then turn the steam off, bring it back down to espresso temperature to make your coffee. So it is a two-step process with a single boiler machine. Next, we move on to heat exchangers. Heat exchangers are probably the most common setup for prosumer or higher end uh, consumer grade machines and also the most common setup for commercial machines as well. The way a heat exchanger works is like this. This is a heat exchanger boiler that's uh, very common in lots of different machines. And this is from a home machine, of course, because of its size. The boiler is filled about three quarters of the way with water. So the water comes up to about this level. That water is brought to a boil and it's controlled using either a pressure stat, which is the most common thing, and a pressure stat turns the heating element off 
and on based on the pressure inside the boiler, not the temperature. It's usually set at about one bar, which is one atmosphere. Or newer heat exchanger machines have PID control for the boiler as well. So the boiler is filled three quarters of the way with water. That water is boiling. So when I want to steam, I just open a valve. Like on this machine, I would just open this valve and steam would come out because uh, I open the valve and the steam is there. It just comes out so I can froth my milk. And when I want to make a shot of espresso, it pulls water from the cold water reservoir. The pump comes on and the cold water comes either from your reservoir or from the water main if it's a plumbed in machine. And it passes through a heat exchanger. The heat exchanger is just right here. It passes through the bottom and comes out of the top. And the diameter and the distance of this heat exchanger has been precisely calculated to yield a certain temperature at the boiler. Uh, heat exchanger machines are very stable when it comes to temperature and they're capable of producing great drinks. Another benefit of a heat exchanger machine, of course, is that you can froth steam milk and make espresso at the same time. A question we often get asked is the difference between the PID control in a heat exchanger versus a dual boiler machine. And the benefit of the dual boiler, of course, is that each boiler is completely independent. I can raise my coffee temperature or lower it to whatever I like without affecting the steam because the circuits are independent. On a heat exchanger, even with a PID, if I choose to lower my temperature, of course I'm lowering the extraction temperature, but I'm also losing steam power. My steam power is going to go down on a heat exchanger because they're connected. So a dual boiler is suitable for someone who really wants that control over their coffee and over their steam. You can uh, uh, dial in your temperature to get the best possible results. A heat exchanger gives you some of those options, of course, but it doesn't have the same precision as a dual boiler. And of course, the price difference is uh, dual boilers tend to cost more, or not tend to, they do cost more than heat exchanger machines. Now you might be thinking, how do I make a choice as to what's right for me? And what we usually suggest is when we start here, thermoblock and single boiler machines are usually ent entry level machines. They're machines, that if you're just getting started in espresso, uh, you don't want to invest too much, you want to get started, get your feet wet. These are great choices. These machines are also good for people who prefer to drink just espresso or black coffee. If you don't care too much about milk-based drinks, a single boiler or a thermoblock machine might be the perfect choice for you. A heat exchanger, we recommend, uh, and it's actually probably our most popular category, is the heat exchanger category, we recommend for people who enjoy milk-based drinks because there's no downtime in between frothing and making espresso. A heat exchanger is great for most homes. You can make a wide variety of drinks. You can make Americanos, cappuccinos, lattes, and espressos very, very quickly and easily. Also, with heat exchangers, they tend to have E61 groups, uh, which is a very thermally stable group, and it's also quite forgiving. Contrary to maybe intuition, is that higher-end machines are actually easier to use than lower-end machines. I know at first glance, if you've never seen one of these machines before, it can look a little daunting and a little complicated, but really it's the exact opposite. They're very easy to use. And finally, dual boilers are suitable for people who want the best. These are machines that have all of the features that these others have uh, combined into one unit. You have full control over your extraction temperature, and in many cases, you also have control over your steaming power. A dual boiler machine is the choice if you want to buy your final machine or if you really want something high end. One of the great things about today's espresso machine industry is the wide choice. There really is a machine for anyone and any lifestyle. If you have any questions about the different style of boilers, whether it's a thermoblock, a single boiler, or a heat exchanger, or a dual boiler, please feel free and reach out. The salespeople at idrinkcoffee.com can help you make an informed choice that's suitable for you. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like these and more videos about coffee. Thank you for watching and have a great day.